My dear fellow listeners and viewers, I want to remind you how important it is for us to have a work-life balance. Meaning that when we accept a job, we should be able to have the flexibility to take days and time off when we have a need. So for example, if you know you have a child who is graduating, you want to make sure that you have the flexibility so you can attend that graduation ceremony. You want to make sure if somebody passes away, you know, a, a, a friend, a family member, anything along that line, you want to make sure that you're able to take time off to attend and, you know, give support to the family. I know of many organizations, you know, that requires documentation and the process can be a very stiff process on all of that. But you want to make sure that um, you, you know, you're working for a company where you have lots of flexibility, you're getting the work done, but you have lots of flexibility where you are able to, you know, enjoy life in general, you know, um, being part of the whole family circle um, and all of that. Many times people are bringing home work. I know now is a different time with the pandemic situation and so on. But you want to make sure that you're not spending excess hours working and working and working um, and you're not really, you know, um, you know, paying attention to the things that are important to you. Of course, you know, you want to take pride in doing your job. You want to make sure that you're giving it your all every single time. But you want to make sure you have that flexibility where you can take time off, um, you know, um, when needed. For example, if you have a child, a newborn, you want to make sure that you, you, your company is giving you that flexibility where both you and your partner can be with that child. That's one of the reasons, by the way, here in Ontario, Canada, um, you know, the law is that um, both uh, parents, um, you know, both partners can take time off at the same time to support the child, to support each other. Uh, but depending where you live, um, that might be a little bit different. Uh, if you don't have those kinds of flex flexibility um, at your workplace, uh, you may want to consider looking for something that works better for you. Because what's the point of, you know, having a job, but you're not having the flexibility to, you know, um, take a day and two off to be with your family when, you know, there are important, um, you know, events happening, you know, like birthdays and, um, those special pieces, or even if you're not feeling that great mentally and physically, you want to make sure that you are taking, you know, um, you're you're able to take the time off without um, any sort of pressure, you know, from the workplace and so on. So those are the things um, you want to really um, look at and negotiate when you are, you know, um, entering, you know, um, a, a new, you know, a new workforce, a new organization. Um, and all of that. You want to make sure that you do your research to make sure that they have good repetition to, to serve, um, you know, um, um, their employers really, really well. So that's my message here today. Um, um, you know, some of you are stuck, obviously, um, you know, at places where you're not fully, um, you know, too satisfied because of not having the flexibility and that work-life balance. You know, try your best to negotiate. I know things can be a little bit challenging at times, but um, if you're looking to enter the workforce now, you want to make sure you are negotiating to get, um, you know, what you want, you know, um, but also, um, you know, you want to make sure that you're serving the company and serving the company as well as well as well too. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. My name is Narendra Sukram. Wish you a great today and even better tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon.